Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you are new here to the channel and you're seeing my face for the first time, please don't forget to like the video, share the channel and subscribe to the channel if you like the kind of content I do. Now, today is a very different video for me. I've never really done one of these before, so something different and something unique individually. But I've seen a really good movie, so I want to do it. Today, we're going to be doing a movie review Spoiler free movie review of the new The Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad. What my thoughts of it, what my opinions are and what my ratings are. To be honest, I didn't expect much. I didn't really see... I thought it would be very similar to the original Suicide Squad film back in 2016. But it's actually pretty good. It's actually really, really good. Um, probably, for me, film of the summer, for me, and there's reasons why for it. Spoiler free, don't forget, I will not reveal anything. It's, um, it's a lot more colourful. This film is a lot more colourful, because if you notice the trend that a lot more earlier DC EU films are a lot more darker compared to the more recent ones like Aquaman, Shazam, Wonder Woman 1984 are a lot more colourful DCEU films and this one is no exception and it actually brings a whole uniqueness to it. In terms of the plot and the story it actually suits and the character developments you actually understand them as with the first Suicide Squad you, you just couldn't really care really because for the first for the character developments or the first one this one that actually feel genuine and like actually relatable and connectable as well for this one yes you have a lot of you have a lot new funnier characters by the way this film is a lot more comedic and a lot more hilarious compared to a lot of DCEU films so this is a first and it actually works there's a lot more comedic aspects the back and forth between Bloodshot and Peacemaker John Cena and Elba's characters in this film actually brings a lot of the comedy aspect into it. Margot Robbie is brilliant as Harley Quinn as ever and we have really good new ca characters in here as well. Other, because I've already mentioned Peacemaker and Bloodshot, there's also Ratcatcher 2, Polka Dot Man's brilliant and King Shark. Just so limited dialogue but he actually is very entertaining for in this film. It's actually really good and even at the start it's really good because the title actually seems like it is. It's a bloodbath half the time. And that's all I'll give away. It's, it's a bloodbath half the time. And then even at the very beginning, it's awesome. Everything they do in this film is awesome. Even Viola Davis returning is a lot more like brutish compared to the first one. Even Rick Flagg is more, more comedic and more entertaining than he was in the first Suicide Squad is actually really really good whereas in terms of other DC films it's not the best but it's one of the best films it's pretty much it's just as good as it's not better as Zack Snyder's Justice League it's better than Aquaman it's better than Jalan it's maybe it's just pretty much one of DC's best films I think since the Dark Knight trilogy and they were really good films that beat so I would say this film for me is a 9, yes, 9 out of 10 for me, because it actually, the ending of it as well, it feels really good, but I will say this um, though, but yes, the box office numbers aren't going to be good because of the COVID over in America, but the problem is it's also on HBO Max, and it's not just like you have to pay for it individually on HBO Max, it's free to monthly subscribers. So that's why box office numbers aren't going to be as big. But regardless, it actually generally is a really good film. And all the new characters in it actually bring meaning and heartfelt and genuine bonds with us this time. Whereas with the first one, the end, like, with Enchantress and all that kind of stuff, it wasn't good. Like, it lacked the first Suicide Squad. The only really good thing in the first Suicide Squad for me was... Margot Robbie and that's it. Whereas this one, Margot Robbie shines again but the rest of the cast ev elevated as well. It actually 
does feel genuine. Characters that you don't expect to do well. Even characters who aren't in this film for long actually leave their mark on this film. It's actually really, really good. The star of it, many of the characters generally leave their mark. And I'm not... That might be a hint of what happened at the start. I'm not sure, but I'm, it's not a total giveaway. But it's a really genuine, heartfelt film that's what you expect. James Gunn has actually done a really good job with this with this film he's taken and it was the right material for as well for this if he'd given any other DC film with with creative with creative freedom it might not have done as well as would hope but to give this kind of material this kind of story with total creative freedom this time because DC never used to do that Warner Brothers never used to do that with many of the DC films it actually works out well for all parties involved so 9 out of 10 yes it might not do well at the box office but COVID over there in America is getting worse again but I have generally do love this film and I recommend that if you are able to go to a cinema avoid, go to, afford to go to a cinema go and see it if you like the D if you like superhero stuff or DC or just anything that's action, comic, comedic and generally just heartwarming just go and give this film a watch and I will definitely definitely recommend it to everyone watching this video. So guys that is it for this video if you have enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this movie review please don't forget to hit the like button share the video and share my YouTube channel and subscribe to the channel. Hope you have all enjoyed. Take care. Peace out.